What's up guys, S-Dub here, time to kill some boredom. So I'm doing a little maintenance on my uh, Dodge Neon and we've had it for what? I don't know, 10 years? It's a 02, it's 2021, so what's that? It's 19 years old. So I figured I'm gonna redo the rear drums, rebuild that, see what that's about. So let's get it. Here's the kit. It's been sitting a while, so it's starting to get surface rust. I'm gonna lube up everything. Even the drums, they're getting surface rust. I'm just gonna sand it a little bit. With a Probably just hit it with a wire brush, call it a day. But, here it is, got it blocked up. We're gonna start with this driver's side. looks good in here yeah let me match the shoes see thickness okay the shoes yeah about half okay but the hardware looks good yeah no grinding so the wheel assembly is good Get you a close-up shot so there's the old pad there's the new there's definitely a difference the hardware looks good so I'm not gonna I'm just gonna do a shoe change and I'm gonna compare this housing to the new housing see the difference all right, to loosen your shoe, it's pretty easy. There's two tabs, one here and one right here. I already pulled it. Grab some needle nose pliers, twist, bam. You can get it through the back. It's out. It's pretty easy. Now you're getting loose, you can see I've already pulled this part off. I'm gonna pull this. I just grab some my needle nose and pull it over the lip right here. It's pretty simple. See, they're loose. Now I'm gonna disconnect from the bottom. There's a bottom spring. You just kind of unhook it. Before I do that, I'm gonna tighten. That helps get it tight. And that's just constricting the adjustment screw. There we 
go. And what this is doing is bringing your shoes tighter together. Less tension on the springs. Now I'm popping off the bottom spring. You kind of got to just feel for it. All right. Top spring pops off like that. It was easier to just come that way. And all I'm doing Taking everything apart, wire brushing it, greasing it up, replacing the shoes with new shoes. There you go. Uh oh, new comparison. The e brake, I totally forgot. The e brake's a funny one. Just take your clamp off from right here because this is your locking mechanism on your e-brake. So I put this part in, just stuck the retaining pin in right here, called it a day. Um, this is just slipped on. I put the retaining pin here for the e-brake. That slips up in there. This sits up in the little groove here, which goes into the little groove down there. Here's the retaining pin. For this side, that goes into that hole. Make sure you put this on the right side. There's a little nipple that face you, the Z shape. Put your tensioner, your auto tensioner in. It's pretty easy because I don't have the springs on. Thank 
Everybody goes there. You go in there. So to get this in, that Z side I was telling you about goes on the top end of your retaining pin. Now that I have that in, this screw or these springs go from here to there and also the same at the bottom from there to there. I'm going to work the top and then I'm going to work the bottom. Then I'm going to put on the spring tensioner right here. Okay, I forgot I broke my pick tool, so I'm going to do it the poor man's way, which don't lock down your shoe. And you're going to finagle it this way. That way you don't have as much tension on it and you just break it down as far as you need to to be able to get it. It's because I got it all lubed up. So the poor man's way is basically remove everything and connect it pretty easy you just connect it and then stretch it there we go we're connected Pressing it, the piston. Now you line it up. There we go. Call that the poor man's way. No tools needed. Bam. Now you fish this through. Oh yeah. Make sure the Z is on the back side because that's where your e-brake mechanism is. Gotta depress this all the way in.
put this retaining pin in. Hold it tight because it's going to be quite a bit of pressure. <laughs> Good. Y'all can see the nonsense that happens. All right. There we go. Now it's lined up. It's tensioned. Take your last screw or your last spring, hook it at the very bottom, cut out on your shoe. Come on, baby. There we go. Now, pull to latch it onto your tensioner, your auto tensioner. Make sure long end goes up. can't get it go to short end see it's easier for me this way if I had a pick ring or a pick tool this would be so much easier Everything moves. Yep, all right. We're not completely on up here. Okay, the assembly's back together. No extra parts. Now what I'm going to do is lube up my studs right here and I'm going to WD-40 everything. They recommend you don't 
you don't want to wet your brakes this makes it easier for installation there we go and that just lubes up everything that's in there and it'll make it easier after a while the oils uh, dissipate out creep out from stopping so this is just to install it sometimes what I like to do is depress everything all the way in that way it's easier for your brake shoot or your brake housing to get on <laughs> 